the Stanford Educational Farm was really the result of students wanting to have a space on campus where they could experiment with growing food in different ways, thinking about sustainability, try different crops that maybe they're not exposed to, share different culinary traditions from their backgrounds. The academic field trip program is a chance for students to merge the learning goals of the classes that they're in with this space and what we have to offer. So we might have students coming from biology or from art, from mechanical engineering, to learn something that's connected to what they're doing in their class and that they can use this hands-on space to get deeper into. We did a general walk around through some of the fields she showed us a lot of the different crops that were being planted. Even though we see all these foods in the cafeteria all the time, we don't actually get to see what they physically look like. We had them today pulling some weeds out of our cover crop, which is a crop that we're not gonna harvest for people, but that's gonna feed the soil. And this is a chance for us to more closely curate the plants that we want in our cover crop. If we let our wild mustard go to seed, that would mean that we'd have it growing there for 10 more years walking around and seeing how much diversity is here. There's a lot of nuances that you can't get from reading text. It's a completely different ballgame. You get to see the actual crops and what's being implemented and understand how it's being implemented. The purpose of the academic field trip program is to be a living laboratory and to engage around food systems issues in an interdisciplinary way and to allow more undergraduates to engage with the School of Earth Energy and Environmental Sciences. It's a break from what they're used to in a typical classroom academic setting. They have a chance to engage with a place, they have a chance to ask their own questions based on what they're seeing, and there's also just a tangibility to this place. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.